Welcome to the Heavy Spoiler Show, I'm your host Paul, aka Definition, and yes, I changed my name and hoped that nobody would notice, like Elizabeth Olsen's Russian accent. Look, shut up for a second, because we put together a list of 52 insane details that we noticed in the teaser trailer for One Division. There might be some spoilers here in regards to leaks on the show, so if you want to go in as blind as possible, then I recommend that you turn off now. Make sure you drop a thumbs up if you enjoy the video, and don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I'll bloody snap you. I said I'll snap you. Now with that out of the way, thank you for clicking this, let's get into the trailer. Okay, so the trailer opens with a black and white Marvel Studios logo, which hammers home the aesthetic of this piece. The TV screen is also box format, which was common at the time due to cameras not being designed to film in widescreen. The song Twilight Time by The Platters plays in the background, and this 1958 melody instantly sets the mood of the sitcom. After the events of Infinity War and Endgame, Wanda has clearly created her own pocket reality, in which she now lives the life that she wishes she got with Vision. The witch is truly out in full force, and I love that the show is going back to the true meaning behind her name. We actually see the fabric of reality terror at one point in the trailer, cementing that she has indeed created an alternate universe. That's where Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is going to come in, and it is rumoured that he will be dealing with the repercussions of her creating this alternate place in time and space. The madness in the title is also meant to reference Wanda, who is supposedly going to be crushed by the ending of this show after being forced to come back to reality. Now, this is why the Mind Stone is back as well as Vision, even though we know that both were destroyed at the end of Infinity War. The Mind Stone is of course tied to the pair, as it's what Wanda received her powers from, and it also gave Vision life. They can both be seen driving along the road, and on the back of their car are the words just married. We might even get to see this, and I think it would be hilarious if some of the other dead MCU characters were in attendance at their wedding, though I doubt it at the moment. They then cut to their home, with Wanda in a wedding dress, and Vision in his suit. The pair are living a Leave it to Beaver-esque existence, and it's clear that Wanda has become heavily influenced by the shows of old. I have no idea how she's aware of these American classics, but it is possible that when she was growing up in Russia, they were shown reruns of the old series. America used to sell a lot of its programming to other countries so that they could fill up their airtime, and we might even get some glimpses at her life as a child, which will explain this. On the newspaper that Vision is holding, we can also see the headline, Little Baby June's First Words Tickle Her Mother. Considering the world has just survived the devastation of the snap, this headline isn't what you'd expect to see at all on a front page, showing that this is indeed a completely separate reality in which the only things that are making the news are adorable stories about nice and unhappy things. Basically the opposite to 2020. Now Wanda says that this is their home now, and either she or Vision transforms his face to be similar to Paul Bettany so that he can fit in. We saw this in Infinity War, but here it gets it gets a low res effects makeover to make it fit in more with the style of the show. In the comic book Vision, which this show is based on, the titular character didn't disguise himself and thus he stuck out like a sore thumb, but I'm glad they're doing this so people aren't just staring at his purple head all the time. I kind of have a feeling that this is going to pull from Bewitched, another classic sitcom in which a witch and her husband try to blend in in middle America. Next we see Catherine Hahn, who says it's going to be a gas. I think that she's actually the villain of the piece, and it was leaked that this would be Agatha Harkness, a powerful witch in the Marvel Universe. Harkness apparently teaches Wanda how to build a pocket universe, and then manipulates her when she's in it. If this is Harkness, then she's clearly aware of what's going on in the outside world, as she does say to Vision in the trailer that he's dead. It, it was pretty, pretty funny to be fair. Now, Wanda then levitates a bottle of wine with the words Maison du Mépris written on it. In French, Maison du means house of, and with the big M at the top of the bottle, this could be, could be a little nod to House of M. In that, Wanda actually wipes out all the mutants on Earth by saying no more mutants, but there are theories that in the show she will be creating them, and this is how the X-Men will be introduced to the MCU. The word mépris also means contempt in French, which further hammers home that something is off. We then see Deborah Jo Rupp, and she actually played Kitty in that 70s show, which is another reference to sitcoms in general. She asks Wanda why she doesn't have any children yet, and this clearly rubs the character the wrong way, as she ends up creating them later in the entry. I think that Agatha has actually erased their memories, as both Wanda and Vision try and recall the past, but they're unable to. Maybe ignorance is just bliss, and Wanda did this on purpose, 
but clearly they've had to forget in order to move on. It's nice that they, they said that they had to move on as well and then can't remember which, you know, little, little, little bit of foreshadowing there. Now, clearly she hasn't created the past part of their reality yet, and it causes Arthur, played by Fred Melamed, to start banging the table asking why. Ned Ryerson, bing! Wanda then rewinds everything that we've seen in the trailer so far, and she creates a brand new reality that looks like it's part of the 70s. We did see in the original trailer that a number of different eras are appearing, and perhaps she has to reset when things all come crashing down. As this is an episodic series, I can see each episode taking place in a different time setting, so it does make sense that she keeps refreshing things. There's also a new aspect ratio, which is more fitting with modern times. You also see that Agatha has joined her, and I tell you what, she looks like something out of the Call On Me video. Maybe not as sexy, but you know, I'll I, I rate it. Now on top of this, the pair are holding babies, and this is likely the twins Wiccan and Speed. In the comics, the pair are actually both Vision and Wanda's children, and they are in fact mutants. If we are changing eras as well, it also makes sense that the pair will grow up through the decades, so who knows, we might actually see them beyond simply being babies. We then cut to Halloween, and this explains why both Wanda and Vision appear in more comic book accurate costumes designed from cloth. Vision flies into the air, and clearly realises that things are wrong, but he can't quite put his finger on it. I think that when he makes it up to the top of wherever he's flying to, he'll realise he's in some sort of prison, and won't be able to get out. He then lands and sees Catherine Hahn in a car, completely unresponsive until he awakens her. She asks if she's dead, and then tells him that he is. Catherine is also dressed like a witch, further cementing our theory about her being Agatha Harkness. I think that she's someone that exists in the real world and has been brought in which is why she knows that the Vision is dead. I think Vision touching her will enlighten him quite a lot and he will learn the truth about the outside directly from the character. It also looks like he's using his powers from the Mind Stone, which yet yeah, maybe she's after that and its abilities. We then see the title A Visionary New Age which puns, puns, puns. Wanda once more changes reality, hammering home that we will be seeing different eras. We then join Monica Rambo being thrown out of the reality and she lands on the other side in the real world. You might remember that a child version of the character appeared in Captain Marvel and it's great to see her all grown up. She actually becomes her own hero called Photon, so who knows, this might be where she gets her powers. We also see a military group, and rumours are that this is actually Agents of Sword, as they were leaked in some behind the scenes images for the show. They seem to have set up a perimeter around the outside of the reality, and sent Rambo in to investigate. And god I hope that guy returns from Ant-Man and the Wasp, I just hope it. Now that's the entire trailer, and I have to say that I absolutely loved it. Marvel have been really quiet recently, and if the pandemic continues the way it's going, this might actually be the only thing set in the MCU that we see this year. However, I am quite happy that it's at least getting released for definite, and according to the schedule, we'll be seeing it in December with Falcon and the Winter Soldier being delayed until 2021. Either way, this has got me hyped, and it looks like the MCU is going to be going in a great new direction with their new TV shows, and it's going to be a gas. Now obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on the trailer in the comments below, so make sure you drop them, and if there's anything we missed, I'd love to hear it, unless I'm in a bad mood that day in which I'll bloody block you. Now if you want something else to watch, then definitely check out our theories on the boys, which is going to be linked at the end. We discuss who we think Black Noir and Stormfront really are, so it's definitely worth checking out if you, if you want something else to watch. Don't forget we're also giving away a free copy of the Christopher Nolan collection, and all you have to do to be on the chance of winning is like the video, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below. The winner is going to be chosen at random on the 30th of September, so make sure you get involved. If you want to support the channel and get to see content early, then please consider clicking the join button below. You can also come chat to us on the Discord server linked in the description, or a heavy spoilers on Twitter. Thanks for making it until the end of the video. You've been the best. I've been Definition, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace out. Peace out.